Good morning, beautiful people. Hope you're doing well. Sending you tons and tons of love from the beach. We are in a heat wave in BC right now. It is freaking hot. So I figured I'd get out early and record this for us before it gets too crazy hot today. So we're by the water, the ocean's behind me. Welcome to the beach. <laughs> ah, and you guys, I've got another another message for us today and that is that spirit is giving us you permission to grow spirit is giving you permission to grow <sighs> to grow in so many ways spiritually mentally physically however to we're just being given permission to grow grow out of our comfort zones grow out of what's known grow beyond what we've already experienced and this builds on the video that i made before but we're being given permission to grow and expand expand our spirit expand our imagination and to grow beyond <laughs> there are so many birds out here this morning we're being given permission to grow beyond what we've already seen, grow beyond what we've already felt, and grow beyond what we've already experienced. We're being given permission to grow our businesses, to grow our impact, to grow our ministries, to grow our projects, to grow our communities, to grow our hearts, to grow our minds. To grow our impact i don't know if i said that already but if i did <laughs> it's supposed to be emphasized to grow our impact and growing our impact doesn't mean that we have to have a huge following and that we have to you know be on stage or whatever growing our impact it can be as seemingly minute as the way that we show up in the world, the people that we help on a daily basis, the lives that we touch. We're living in a time right now where we've been encouraged to contract. We've been encouraged to go inside, to stay in our houses, to not touch other people, to not go near other people to have barriers between us and other people. This is a time where we need connection more than any other time, maybe ever. <laughs> we need connection and, and to reach out and to touch other people. If we're not touching them physically, then touch their hearts. That can just be as simple as smiling at someone in the store, or, you know, letting someone go ahead of you in line. Or, you know, buying coffee for the person behind you. Just the little things. We need more of the little things right now. The little ways, the seemingly small ways that we can connect with, with each other. And that's, that's where this permission to grow comes into play. Because we've been inside, we've been disconnected for too long. It's time to reconnect. It's time to, yeah, reconnect with each other. Come out of hiding. It's time to expand again and to grow. <sighs> grow in our energetic and spiritual footing. Because when we're contracted, when we're, when we're inside, inside our houses, inside ourselves, it's like our spiritual footing can become contracted as well so we are being given permission to grow expand our footing expand our groundedness expand our spiritual footprint and when we do that then we're given more opportunities to connect in the physical world connect with other people maybe giving more people hugs <laughs> I know we're discouraged to do that right now, but we all need hugs, man. But this could, yeah, I'm going off on a tangent, but we're being given permission to grow. Grow in the way that we show up, grow in the ways that we connect. And grow 
into our stories. Okay, that's okay. Grow into our stories. We're giving we're being given permission to grow into our stories and tell our stories because this is another way that we can connect. If not in the physical, we can connect through our words, we can connect through our stories, we can connect through storytelling. So wow, I get this really strong sense that we're being encouraged to own our stories, tell our stories, share our stories, and start storytelling more. Because just you sharing your story could be incredibly healing for someone else. When someone else can hear themselves in your words and in your story, something happens to them on the spiritual level that is hard to explain. Because a lot of us, sorry, I'm going on a tangent, but it's this is where we're being led today. A lot of us tend to suffer in silence and not think that we're worthy of connection and not think that we there there can be a, a tendency when we're suffering in silence to think that we're the only ones who are experiencing what we're experiencing and so the storytelling and the sharing of our stories really helps to show people that they're not alone so this could look a lot of different ways it doesn't have to be making videos. It doesn't have to be being on stage. It could be something as simple as writing a social media post about something that you're experiencing right now. It could be writing a small book. It could be writing it on a little sticky note and leaving it somewhere. It could be <clears throat> just speaking it into the ethers and writing your story in the sand because we all feel it we all feel it so we're being encouraged to grow in more ways than one we're being encouraged to grow and expand so that we can reach and touch each other and connect in an entirely new way. I thought this message was going to go in a different direction today, but this, <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. Um, yeah, you guys. This is the time, this is the time when we're supposed to be coming out of, coming out of hiding, coming out of our shells, coming out and, and, and sunning ourselves and sunning our stories and sunning our humanity, letting our humanity breathe so that we can encourage the humanity in others to come out and play. We can encourage the stories in each other to come out and be seen and be heard and be connected with and to also play. So we're being encouraged to grow and play and come out. Come out and play. Will you come out and play? <laughs> we've been I know for myself like I've just been taking life so seriously and my my guidance has been telling me to play more and to just just let it be let ourselves be let ourselves be free let ourselves be more expanded just come out come out and play come out and reconnect Come out and tell your story. Wow. I just had two hummingbirds zoom by me. I don't know if that's significant for any of you, but I'll have to maybe look up what the hummingbird symbolizes. 
it's probably something fun. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. We're being encouraged to grow you guys and expand and connect right now. So reach out, reach out to your people, reach out to me. I'll hear your story if you don't feel comfortable sharing it publicly, but um, it's time to reconnect and it's time to expand and play and just let ourselves stretch out, stretch out. <laughs> We've been contracted for too long. It's time to stretch out, sun our bellies. and enjoy. All right, sending you tons and tons of love. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with someone you love, and subscribe down below for more videos like this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Lots of love.